Welcome everybody to the campus of Un the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth and we are set for high school baseball here on Dartmouth Community Media. Ben Smith here on the call with you alongside my friend Chad Amaral. Chad, pretty anticipated matchup and as we see at the re uh, records right now, Aponiquit coming in here at 9 and 10 in Dartmouth. Wow, what a season for them. 14 and 5 and today's senior night. So. Yeah, Dartmouth comes in rolling and playing really well. And Aponiquit, upon according to their coach, is playing some of their best baseball at, uh, of the season right now. The second so. half of the season. So we should have a we should have a good match of both teams coming in rolling. And at, we got the Aponiquit's throwing out their ace Lucas Tremblay, and Dartmouth's throwing out Aiden Smith. So it should, def should definitely be well pitched, well well played game. Yeah, and. Once again, like you just mentioned, um, we just talked to the coaches earlier in the game. I talked to Coach um, Coach Freights here. Um, he said that more or less things uh, still got still got more things to come as well um, because the playoffs are along their way um, because they have won 10 games so far. They're 17th ranked in the state um, upon a quit, 9 and 10. If they win today, they clinch the playoffs today. Dar Dartmouth, it's a senior day for seven of the seniors, which we'll see coming up. But for Dartmouth, it's about getting a win today to clinch at least one home game in the state tournament. So it's it's senior day, but it's it, you, 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 you're going to see it's more than just senior day. It's about getting a win, getting some momentum heading into the state tournament because this is a good Dartmouth team, 14 and five, and um, they've been on fire. They've beat pretty. They have they haven't um. They've been on a, a tear lately, so they, they want to go into the postseason with a good momentum and need a win today. Yep. So, folks, we will have coverage of the uh, first pitch coming up soon uh, and senior night coming up soon as well. So stay tuned for that and don't go anywhere. Uh -oh. And we are back here at the campus of the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. Ben Smith, Chad Amaral on the call with you today. And as you can see, it is senior night and the parents are coming onto the field. Um, and we have seven seniors here on this wonderful class. Um, yeah, always an emotional day. Last time, I mean, they, they have states, but this is one of their last games together as a team. So I'm sure, sure these guys are pumped for today yeah um, so right now we are going to take our attention to the, to the third baseline and the first baseline yeah. at this time the Dartmouth High School Athletic Department would like to welcome you to senior recognition day today we will see you all of the baseball program we would like to thank these eight seniors for the effort and dedication they have shown over the past oh. four years. Okay. 
It is deeply appreciated by your community, your school, and especially your coaches. Hopefully during your time Thank you for your support and most importantly raising your sons into the young men that stand before you today. All right, we, can get we hope you are as proud of them as we are. Our first senior is Luke Aronson with his parents Lucinda and Michael. And here is Luke Aronson being introduced number 24. Zach Aruda and his parents, Jeff and Jen. Zach Aruda, parents, Zach and Jen. Ryan Coppola with his mom, Christy, and his grandparents, Sharon and Larry. Ryan Coppola. Jack Joquin and his parents, Mark and Maria, and his sister, Emma. Jack Joquin, father, Mark, mother, Maria, sister, Emma. Chase Lackey and his parents, Chuck and Cindy. Chase Lackey and parents, Chuck and Cindy. Jacob Lancaster and his parents, Becky and Tim. Jacob Lancaster, parents, Becky and Tim. Matt Larivier and his parents, Cindy and Michael. Matt Larivier, parents, Cindy and Michael. And Christian Silva with his mom Lucille and sister Zoe. Christian Silva. I'd also like to take a quick moment to congratulate uh, any graduating seniors from Aponiquid High School. Uh, good luck and best wishes. And that is your senior class of the Dartmouth High School baseball team this year. What a year, Chad, I have to admit, from these uh, seniors who have worked and paid off some of their due diligence in the past four years in this program. Um, yeah. Not four years because of that COVID year, so three years technically. Um, but again, they have been working and paying off their due diligence whatsoever. Yeah, it's an emotional day for them, but it's an emotional day for their parents too. How, how many hours have they spent at the bees, ba at baseball <laughs> fields? I mean, as a parent, you're taking your kid to baseball three, three, four months out of the year. These guys are, going, are playing baseball games. I'm sure they spent a lot of time at Crapo. And um, this is... You remember yeah. those days. <laughs> yeah. And as a father now, I'm ta still taking my, t taking my son to g games three days a week. And this is... It, 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 the parents have put in a lot of time, too. So this is uh, the culmination of a lot of years of baseball. And for a lot of guys, I mean, they're not going to play college baseball. So high school baseball is as far as they go. And so it's it, it definitely a great experience for them. All right, and we are about to get ready and ready to rock here at the campus of the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. Um, right now, um, it's a bit of a great sunny day right now outside here. Um, it is windy as usual It's here. windy, but 68 degrees, mostly sunny skies today, and we are expecting it to be in the mid-60s today. Um, Managers exchanging the lineups. Um, we... We already have our, our copy of the, line, of the lineup. Ben, do you want to go through the, yep. the Aponiquit lineup? Yeah, we're going to go through the Aponiquit lineup. Batting first is number, se number seven, Dylan Brady. Batting second is the first baseman, Nate Levesque. Batting third is the third baseman, uh, Caden Sear. Batting fourth is the second baseman, Austin Travis. Batting fifth is the uh, is the designated hitter number three, Peter Rubini. 
batting batting sixth is the pitcher number 24 Lucas Tremblay and batting seventh number number 23 Brody Jolie batting eighth Cam Sylvia number 18 excuse me number batting ninth number four Justin Sereccia the the manager of this team is led by Jim Cubiccio. And for your Dartmouth Indians, starting first, pitcher, number one, Aiden Smith. Center fielder, number two, Aiden, batting second, center fielder, number two, Aiden Cruz. Batting third, first baseman, for first baseman, number 12, Chase Lackey. Batting fourth, shortstop, number one, Chase Fenno. Batting fifth, catcher, number 24, Donovan Burgo. Batting sixth, the left fielder, number 22, Jack Joquin. Batting seventh, the right fielder, number 21, Ryan Coppola. Batting eighth, the designated hitter, hitter number 25, Christian Silva. Batting ninth, the third baseman, number nine, uh, number two, Louis Freitas. And this team is led by, uh, by manager Mike Freitas. And he... We have officially, uh, they have officially exchanged their lineups and their team is getting ready to roll here. So for Dartmouth, this is their third game of the week. Um, so we're gonna, see that part of the reason you're gonna see Aiden Smith in there, I was talking to Coach uh, Freights before and he was he was saying Aiden, uh, been a great pitcher for him, started the season a little late because he was coming off a basket, uh, injured ankle in basketball. Yeah. So he's, uh, but he's starting to Chip get into fracture. a groove. Yeah, he's starting to get into a groove. Um, for Dartmouth, a lot of the, being that it's senior night, a lot of their pitching comes from their senior core. So they're going to have to develop some of these younger guys, the Aidens, the Louis Louis Freitas's of the world, and Chase. <laughs> uh, they're going to have to start pitching. They're going to have to start pitching next year. We're going to because right now a lot of their pitching comes from their senior guys. And they're going to have a lot, a lot of young talent coming next year as well. Um, as we can see, I was watching some of their games for the JV teams. And there's a lot of young talent and a lot of young players. This team has a lot to prove in the years coming up. And coming up to the mound today, Aiden Smith. Um, yeah, Aiden, Aiden plays shortstop and, pitch, and pitches for Dartmouth. He's, and he's leading off, so... Definitely important player on this team right now. Yeah, so Ben, we got the the wind blowing in today. So I mean, that always helps a pitcher. You don't want the if you're a pitcher, you want the wind blowing in. You don't want the wind blowing out. So hopefully that helps him. But the wind is it's it's calmed down a little bit from earlier. So we'll we'll see. Yeah, um, like you just said, you want it to be in if you are a pitcher. Um, and so far, it hasn't affected his game so far, uh, Aiden Smith, who really, like you just said, he has been um, with that injury that he suffered during the um, basketball season this year. It really just goes to show that he can play. Yeah, he's made four starts, but uh, his ERA is 1.87 this year so I mean he's putting pretty lights out as a pitcher so far despite getting a late start to the year so we'll see how we we'll see what he's got tonight and it's time to play ball ladies and gentlemen sit back and relax and we have a great baseball game for you all starting up is the leadoff man uh, number seven Dylan Brady for a pawn quit if you're Aiden Smith you want to establish the strike the strike zone early Wind get, and deals. Get, Here's get the roll. pitch. A little outside there. Ball one. A one. One out. And that's outside for a ball two. Just trying to get that outside corner. Just a little outside there. Two zero -oh pitch. And that's in for a strike. That looks similar to the pitch before. That was a ball, but he got, he got the call there. The one and deals. 
outside for a ball three. Yeah, he's working that outer half of the plate. He has not come inside at all so far. Three one pitch. Fly ball and that will go out for a foul ball. Three two full count here. This early. Dylan Brady working the count early. Dylan Bradley. Here's Smith. Pitch and that will go as a walk. Aiden Smith walks his first man today. Yeah, not, not the way, you, not an ideal start for Aiden. Coming up, the uh, first baseman, uh, number 25, Nathan Levesque, onto the plate. Wine and deals, outside for a ball. one -oh. and outside once again for a ball two. Coach Freight's telling me he's, he's, he's got a bend. He's leaving it a little high. Got double play depth in the infield, trying to get out of this. He goes, he tried to pick him off at first. Obviously, the leadoff batter's on. You got a little speed at first, so you're going to pay him a little more attention. The guy's at the top of the order. It means he's got some wheels and probably, probably going to take off. 2-0. Outside, strike. three, uh, oh, strike one. I think Sm Smitty has woken up right now. Yeah, he's throwing hard. You can hear the pop of the mitt. A little outside there, three, one. He's just missing, I mean, he's not missing by much. It's not like he's way off the plate, but. He's falling behind two straight batters to start the game. 3-1. And the hit will go out as a foul. 3-2 full count here. That was a ball, too. He probably could have walked on that. Probably, if you're a, if you're a, you're a coach, you're not thrilled. He, took, he hit that out of the other batter's box. Full count pitch. He's off. Ooh. Didn't matter. Ball four. Ball four, and the runner moves up to second. So two people, uh, two runners who are going to first and second base here. And let's look at the pitch. So, so he had a good jump. I mean, it didn't matter with the ball four, but, I mean, he would have had the base either way. So you can feed a truck out, but Pontic was showing that they're going to be aggressive early on, so Burgo's going to have to be pop, popping up quick. Time called here. And we're gonna so sub in a pinch runner. Looks like it is. That's the uh, the courtesy runner. Seth Richards, the junior, coming in. You can um, have a courtesy runner for in high school for your pitcher or your catcher. Yeah, when you're ha a designated hitter. Oh, for no, for Jeff, pitcher or catcher. Um, so they can be ready for the next inning. So it's definitely a good strategic move to get some. And what speed. a pitch there from Aiden Smith. Strike one in there for strike. So Aiden's still looking for his first out here. He's got, it's early in the game. You're still going for two. T turn two, worry about. Wine and deals and goes outside for a ball. One and one. Caden Sear at the plate now. Sear hits it down the left field line. Base hit. One runner is coming in, and he gets it in, and it's a one nothing upon a quick game right now. Yeah, he went opposite field on that. He and that is a leadoff single there, an RBI yeah, if you look for look Caden at, Sear. Look at that Sear. That, that he, he took it right down the line. Good piece of hitting. He went with the pitch, took it to left field. Good hit. Aiden looking for, I mean, Aiden's still looking for his first out here. Here's the pitch. 
outside. Ball one. Aiden clear, looks a little frustrated on the mound. Things are, he's around the plate, but he's just, just missing. And he's fallen behind and then fallen into the, the hands of the hitters. And he was trying to go to second, but the runner stays. Here's the pitch. And a strike there for Aiden Smith. If you're Aiden, you just want to start getting ahead of these counts. He's fallen behind every hitter so far, so. And Outside, ball two. Be falls behind again, 2-1. Tried to get work a breaking ball in there, but still just a little high. And here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Strike two. Two and two. Need a big out right here. I mean, he's not going to waste one here. He's got to go right at him. Ooh, Ugh, a little bit outside. One. A full count here. Three, two. Worst case scenario, you can get a bases loaded right now for Dartmouth, and uh, time is called here. I mean, worst case scenario is a hit right here, but you you, you got to press, you got to throw a strike, you can't waste it. Can't, can't waste any more pitches. You got to go after them. You got to play to contact if they hit it. So so be it. You have good fielders behind you. And that will be popped and a foul towards the near side. Pound the strike zone right here if you're Aiden. Count still stays the same. Here's the 3-2 pitch coming in for Smitty. Throw your best pitch. Got and it. that's in. One out. That's his first strikeout, Aiden Smith of the day. What are your thoughts on that, Chad? To his credit, he threw a breaking ball on a 3-2 count in a game that he was struggling. I mean, that's a that shows a lot of confidence in him, uh, in his stuff, because, I mean, that's... He was, he was reeling a little bit and he came back with a big pitch. And now that goes one. inside for a strike. And that is the designated hitter number three, Peter Rubini. The right deals. Got two. So now he's getting a little confidence. Oh, a little confidence on the mound after some early struggles. Now you just want to keep firing strikes. Get out of this inning and then go from here. They got a good off. He's got a good offense behind him. So. O2 pitch. A little outside there. Ball one. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go with that breaking ball that he struck out the last batter with. That's kind of like slid right across the plate. There, there it is. And a little got him again. Oh, it's a strikeout. Inside there. And that's two strikeouts for Aiden Smith to start. That's two strikeouts on the exact same pitch. He's working that out. Breaking ball. Breaking breaking ball. It's going right across the plate. And he's got two, he's got two guys buckling his knees. Buckling their knees. Just no, not even a swing. Here's the pitch. Outside. That's ball a, one. No, that's a strike. Oh, it's a strike. That's the exact same pitch. Three, three pitches in a row. Uh, that's a, the same pitch he used to strike out the two hitters. Right now he's feeling, he's feeling good with the breaking ball. Here's the pitch again. Grounder. Down towards the left field line to first, in and out. Nice job, Aiden Smith. Aiden that, Smith. That inning could have gotten away from him, could, and instead he came back and got the two Ks and the 6-3 out to end the inning. Good, great, great job. Showed a lot of fight that inning. So that will conclude the middle of the first inning. The order coming up is Aiden Smith uh, batting first, Aiden Cruz batting second, and Chase Lackey batting third. We will be right back right after this. Do not go anywhere.
bottom of the first here, and we are live at the U University of Massachusetts base, uh, Dartmouth baseball field. Ben Smith, Chad Amaral once again on the call today, um, and we're getting ready for the bottom of the first here. Uh, Ponaquit up one nothing after an RBI single from Caden Sear in the first inning. Aiden Smith. Go. Aiden Smith after getting out of the last inning. Now he's looking to help himself get on the get get back on the board. Levesque, here's the pitch outside, and that will go as a ball. You can see from him he's got a lot of good fastballs here. Yeah, he's their ace. Wine and deals. Grounder foul. One and one. And here's the pitch. And down below, ball two. The 2 1 pitch coming. The wine and deals. Ooh. Chopper. And that will be nice an out. Great play there by Caden Sear, the first baseman. Yeah. And the leadoff man is out, one down. He didn't rip that, but didn't matter. Um, great play by the first baseman over there. Now here is Aiden Cruz, the center fielder here. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Four seam fastball there from Levesque. Here's another pitch. Swing and a miss once again. Strike two. Aiden, one of the better hitters, hitters on this team, batting 279 coming into the game. And 68 plate appearances. The wine and deals. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Got him with the high fastball. And now here is Chase Lackey. For Levesque, this, he's only thrown five pitches. He's thrown five pitches um, and one strikeout so far for Levesque. On deck is Chase Fenno. And here's the pitch. In there, first strike. Oh, excuse me, a ball there. Outside. Ben, did you notice that the top of the lineup has two Aidens and two Chases back to back? I didn't know that. Yeah, now you know. And outside once again, ball two. Great eyes there by Fenno. The 2-0 pitch. Down below, 3-0. Lackey, one of, the, one of the seniors on this team. Um, he's been solid at first base all year for him. He's definitely a, a guy, a stabilizing force in the team that they'll miss. He's, he's been solid for them all year. Batting Here's 328. the pitch, and that will be a strike. He was taken there. They got to, they don't want to go down and eat, they don't want to make this a nine pitch inning. Here's the pitch. Three, and 3-2, three, all count here. Levesque well, working the outside of the plate there. Here's the pitch. And a high fly ball Levesque down the left field line. And that will be caught three outs there. And that will retire the side, a 1-2-3 inning for Dartmouth. Not a great start for Dartmouth so far in this game. Right now, at the end of the first inning, Aponiquit is up one to nothing. We will be right back with coverage here on Dartmouth Community Media. We'll be right back.
We are back here on the top of the second inning. one nothing. upon a quit leads over. Now here's Brady, Brody Jolie for the pitch. Here is the pitch. Wine and Deals hits the ground ball and a base hit. Brody sat on that, ripped it to left. Nice hit to left there by Brody Jolie there. Yeah, that was, that was a good swing. I mean... Went it right after the first pitch. He wasn't. He wasn't sitting there waiting. And the leadoff man goes to first. Aiden had retired the last three batters, so he's getting in a little bit of a roll. Here's the pitch outside. Ball one. Yes, Bunt here and going to the second. And to first, no, he won't. Nice but play. Great nice, one. A nice play by Aiden. That's a tough play on a pitcher because not a, I mean, probably would have been probably would have been an easier play for Donovan because for for Aiden he has to turn all the way around, make the throw kind of off his back foot, but he made a good throw. That's Fenno there. Um, trying to throw it to first there, but not in time as the runner slid into second. I mean, not a great bunt for a pawn quit. Um, that's bunted it a little too hard. You want to bunt that down the third baseline. He bunted it right, right to Aiden. Aiden made a good job, made a good play. And here's a pitch, and that's a strike. Swing and a miss there. This is Justin Sereccia. He's got a little bit of a lead at first, but he doesn't seem to be seem to be looking to test him. Here's a pitch outside. Ball one. Oh, strike two. Yeah, that, was, that ball was on the outer half, but yeah, sometimes you get the... A little bit inside, and it was inside as it was. See, Ben Smith, remember that? Because that was a ball. Remember and that one when, you, when you don't get the call you and want. And that will go out to the near to the parking lot and that will be a foul ball whatsoever so it doesn't the count stays the same 0-2 gotta put him away right here for Aiden I expect a breaking ball right here and here's the pitch nope. went inside Out, outside there ball one a bit of a great crowd for our student section here um, yeah student section's packed this is the most I've, seen at, yeah. most I've seen at a game. And he's, oh, a little bit outside. Good thing he ducked there. The breaking ball got away from him there. He tried. Three, two, 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 excuse me. Smitty to first. And the runner will stay. Or Aiden, I'd just be worrying about the batter. It's not much of a lead over there. You got a good catcher, Burgo. You should be all right. 2 2 pitch. High fly ball up down the middle. And it will be caught there by Marcus Andrews. And that will be two down. Nice job, eight, by Aiden. Top of the second. Getting that easy pop up right there. Now he's got two outs. Trying to get out of another inning. All you gotta do if you're Aiden Smith is you gotta pull another one, uh, pull another strikeout here, and a foul ball down the left field. I mean, if you're Aiden, strike one. You don't have like the pressure. He doesn't have pressure to strike everyone out. Talking with Coach Freights, Coach Freights, the one thing he preaches is defense, playing solid defense, and uh, so I mean, he had he has a good defense behind him, so he can pitch to contact. He doesn't have to strike everyone out. And, you know, he has a lot of consistency. Here's the 101 pitch and goes outside for a ball. Like I said, he has a lot of consistency as a young man. You know, in basketball, football, uh, basketball, he's a really good player, and especially in Chopper. baseball, too. Chopper down the left field, right field line, goes to first, retires the side, and a scoreless oh, inning for the Aponiquit Lakers here. And we are reaching the middle of the second inning. One nothing, still your score. Upon a quit, takes the lead, and we will be right back right after this. Do not go anywhere. 
I don't. It's. It sounds like my mic is. Yeah, I think it's. Or if it's. And we welcome you all back to the campus of the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. Ben Smith, Chad Amaral once again here on the call today. And Chad, we have a great matchup so far. Uh, Aiden Smith has played phenomenal as a pitcher, but only gave up one hit um, that ended up into an RBI single from Caden Sear. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're Dartmouth, I mean, Aiden has definitely settled down on the mound, but you still need to score some runs now. Levec made quick work of Dartmouth in the first inning. And now here's Chase Fenno, uh, the shortstop batting now. Here's the pitch down below, ball one. Burgo on the mound, uh, on deck, excuse me. Inside, one and one. Lovec, here's the pitch. Outside, oh, yeah. inside, that's a strike. Yeah, that was a strike. One, two. Good pitch, across the plate. Lovec's in control so far. And, ooh. And a foul ball count stays the same, one, two. Fenno coming into the game, batting. 262. Donovan Burgo on deck. And here's Lovec. The one two pitch. And ball two. Great eyes there by Chase Fenno. He thought about it, but he made the right choice. The two two pitch. And that is a strikeout. Buried him inside. That's two strikeouts for uh, Levesque so far. And here's Donovan Burgo. Burgo looking to get the Dartmouth, the Indians' offense started. The catcher Donovan Burgo, up to bat. Burgo, three thirty-three on the year. Pretty decent for a guy like him. Down oh. below, oh, strike one. Donovan does it all. Good defensive player, great bat. Here's Levesque and Burgo, fly ball that will go out and a foul ball there. He was really late on that one. Gotta straighten it out right here. And a free souvenirs for the fans. <laughs> yeah, wait, yeah, well. Not really. Not at the high school level. They gotta bring, give it back. Gotta protect here. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. And that he will be down on strikes. And right now here's Jack Joquin, the left fielder here coming in. Joquin, senior, senior outfielder. On senior day, looking to get this offense going. Here's a pitch. High fly ball, and that will go out into the parking lot as a foul ball, strike one. Bit of a windy one here today, despite the factor that it's really nice out. 
Yeah, it's, it, it, it is always windy here on this campus. And that will go outside for a ball. Wines and deals, here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss and a strike two. Got to uh, give credit at the athleticism there from Jack Joquin, keeping the eye on the ball. I mean, Levesque isn't wasting any pitchers. He's going right at the pitches. He's going right at him almost in every pitch. He's and got 2-2. Two, two. Down below, 2-2. Two, two. Here's the wine and deals, and that Rizzo. is an out. Three kit struck out the side in that one. One, two, three inning once again for the uh, Indians. Nate Levesque coming up on the mound uh, for uh, hitting next, the batting order. Nathan Levesque, Caden Sear, and Austin Travis. Coming up next at the end, this is the end of the second inning. Uh, no score, a scoreless inning here. We'll be right back or right after this. Do not go anywhere. Top of the third inning here at the campus of the University of Massachusetts, Dartmouth. And what a game we've had so far. Ben Smith, Chad Amaral once again on the call. Here's the pitch outside, one ball, zero strikes. Yeah, he didn't have, he, he didn't give him the second, going around the order for the second time right, right here. And, and a chopper down the field, and that's a base hit. Nathan Levesque, the leadoff man, goes to first and now brings up Caden Sear, who is one for one so far with an RBI single. Let's look at the instant replay here, Chad. Uh, great hit. Nice hit. I mean, late, late jump and left, but I mean, right at, the, at that point, he was just trying to keep the ball in front of him and not, not allow first, it to get by him, keep it to a single. Safe. Was called. Try to get that pinch runner there. Here's the pitch. Outside, ball one. Yeah, Sear got a base hit last time up. Drove in a run. Swing and a miss. And that hits the mat there. Oh. 2-0. I, I don't, I don't, I'm confused with that call there. Outside, 3-0. 2-1 there, correction. Even a little frustrated there. I don't know why. I think they called and the check. And there's a grounder down the right field and to first, one away. And the runner goes to second. Nice job by Aiden getting that out. I mean, it was a so we When you have these grass infields, it, it definitely killed that ball a little bit. It wasn't hit hard enough to be a double play, so Austin, had to take the safe out at first. Austin Travis um, coming in here next here for the Lakers. Aiden struck him out looking on his last at bat. 
Here's the pitch. Loses his cap in a strike. He got Austin with the breaking ball at the end of that last at bat. See if he comes back with it. Here's Smith. Pitch and it's outside ball one. The one one pitch. And here's That's a trouble. loud dinger down the, the gap. gap there. And he brings down a runner. One run scored. Go uh hit, lead off hitter gets a single RBI single there, uh Austin Travis. And the score nice two oh. Nice up job by him. Austin Travis finding the gap. Had a runner on second. Easy easy score easy scoring to play right there. Two nothing. Ponquit jumps out ahead, continues to jump out ahead. And here's the pitch. And in there for a strike. The righty deals. Oh, outside there. Dodged a bullet. One, one. One one with one out. He struck out Rubini last at bat. It's and well. here is the grounder down the left field line, base hit. A runner goes to second, and a runner goes to first base. Uh, the leadoff single. Once again, a single for. Yeah, not, a, not an ideal start to the inning for Aiden. Three of the first four batters have gotten on against and him. Looks like Coach Freights will go to the mound here and. Looking for a pitcher change coming up here. Um, yeah, I, I think. I just think he, the way Levesque's pitching, you, you don't have a huge margin for error. You, you can't give up a ton more runs because Levesque has, has looked dominant. At it. So I mean, if you're afraid, so you're telling him to bear down. You got two on here, but you can get a it, get a double play ball, p pitch to contact. Don't try to strike everyone out. Pitch to contact, try to get out of this inning. Because right now, every run could be crucial. You don't you don't want to fall behind much more than you already have. Staying in the game. And Aiden Smith will still remain at pitcher here. Lucas Tr Tr Tremblay up. He grounded to short in his last at bat. If I'm Coach Freights, I'm telling him pull his stuff together, and you know he. Here is the grounder down left field, uh, right field goes to first, two away here, and a runner goes to third and to second. I, I think what Freights and I've heard him say it from the bench, probably told him there is, Aiden, you don't have to strike everyone out. You get pitch to contact. Pitch to contact is it, correct, as he just said, and now here's. Uh, Brody Jolie, who had uh, hit in the er early inning, a single. Here's the pitch. Outside, ball one. Yeah, two runners in scoring position just trying to get out of this inning. Outside again, 2-0. Two balls, zero strikes, two outs. Here's the 2-0 pitch from Smitty. And goes outside, 3-0. Come on, Come on, I mean, with two guys in scoring position, he might not be taken here. He could be swinging, so I wouldn't just throw it right over the middle. A lot of confidence in a high fly ball. And Lackey's trying to get under it. You're in oh, out of space. and it goes out towards our truck there. Thought he was going to do some of that. Um, That's what I was saying there. With he bets to the catch there. You know how when he ca caught that one, when he leaps over the fence and tried to catch the ball, but called a home run there. Those years back. That's what it kind of reminds me of a little bit. Here's the pitch from Smitty, outside and walks the runner. Bases loaded here with two outs to go. Bases loaded. I mean, it's not the worst thing right there. It, it, now you now you you get you get a chance to 
force at any base, easy, easy out in the infield, and try to get out of this inning. And now... Cam Sylvia bunted last time. And that goes inside for a strike there. He dropped the bunt to Aiden last time. And he, he, so, 0 for 1 so far. And the 0 1 pitch goes outside for a foul ball, strike two. One strike away from getting out of this inning. And here's Smitty. Here's a fly ball coming into our direction, and that will go out. Ben Smith, if it comes our way, you're going to catch it? I don't know. I don't want it to break my arm. <laughs> I don't think it'd break your arm. A 100-mile-an-hour ball coming your way? It's not 100 miles an hour. You'll be all right, Ben. Catch the ball. Like seven. And it goes inside, and a sh he's got on strikes. I'll save you next time, Ben. Don't worry. I got you. You're not going to get hit. I'm going to have to duck under the table if that's the case. All right. Anyways, that is... We have reached the middle of the third inning. We are halfway through the game. 2 nothing. upon a quit leads. We will be right back right after this. Do not go anywhere. <laughs> And we are back here at the campus of the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth uh, today. What a beautiful day. It is 65 degrees. Uh, Ryan Coppola up on, back right, at bat right now at the mound. Nathan Levesque. Here's the pitch. And inside for a strike. That, that one looked a little bit. That, that one looked like a ball. Looked a little bit outside to me. I think it was towards the... Um, box zone but swing and a miss strike two there so far six up six down for Dartmouth they've put no pressure on him which is unlike them I mean they're very good offensive team but they've been the bats have been quiet today here's the 0-1 pitch rounder and strike two I think he it's already 0-2 already but the count stays the same. And Lovec, 0-2 pitch, and a high fly and goes out. Hanging in there. Can't tell where the ball landed. It went towards the near end. You're safe, Ben. Don't worry. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Got him. And he got him on strikes there. One down. I mean... That was a strike. Definitely had movement, but it was definitely a strike. And now here is the uh, designated hitter number eight, Christian Silva. Here's the pitch and goes out for a foul ball, strike one. Yeah, Levesque keep, keep, still keeping him off balance. Dartmouth does not look, they don't look comfortable at the plate. Not at all today. The I mean, when you're not comfortable with the plate, you start looking 
the umpire like it's his fault. But. Rounder down the right field and goes to first. Two away here. In the bottom of the third. Next up, we're going to bring up Louis Freitas. Levesque still face the minimum. Eight up, eight down. And coming up on deck is the lead off uh, the top of the order here. Um, Aiden Smith. So far, no hits going up for Dartmouth today. Yeah, if we had the no hitter, I would tell you not to say that and jinx it, but being that we're being no hit, it's okay. You can bring it up as much as you want, Ben. You don't want to bring up a no hitter when it when a when it's your guy throwing it's, it. Yeah. Yeah. Cause then the next minute something might happen. But here's the 0 one pitch and uh jammed, goes him, in, out. jammed him inside. Jammed him inside once again. Oh for two. Oh two. Excuse me. Here's Levesque, the 0-2 pitch, winds and deals. Here's the hit, out and a foul. He's out, out a little in front of that. If I'm Louie, I'm hitting it, this ball down left field. Ah, I'm sure you'd... You got open daylight there. Dartmouth will want to hit, hit it anywhere they could right now. And That's... grounder down the left field, goes to first. And we're down on strikes. Another one, two, three inning for Dartmouth. No hitter once again. Dartmouth is trailing two to nothing. We will be right back right after this. This is the end of the third inning. We'll be right back. Top of the fourth inning here, uh, Dartmouth is trailing two to nothing over the Aponiquit Lakers. Ben Smith on the call today um, with uh, Chad Amaral. And so far, how are your thoughts on this game, Chad? Well, Dar Dar Dartmouth hasn't hit the ball. I mean, they've nine bet they've sent nine to the plate and had have nine straight out. So there's not much offensively. And Aiden Smith's out of the game. Aiden pitched well. And here's the hit down the right field line, and it looks like Copella will get under it, and he will grab it. One down here on the top of the fourth. Aiden went three, struck out three, allowed two earned runs, so he didn't pitch poorly. He pitched well. Yeah. Um, but the bat, they haven't been able to do any, sustain anything offensively. So, I hit anything offensively, so... Um, we got Chase Fenno, and he's coming more with a sidearm, like three-quarter delivery here. He does... Great job of hiding the baseball until the very end. He kind of just turns his back to the batter. And goes outside for a ball. 
It's definitely a tricky delivery for Fenno. It's not easy for a batter to pick it up. He, he hides that baseball yeah, until the very end. in there for a strike. What a pitch there by Chase Fenno. He comes, yeah. It's, Fresh out of the mound. This is not an easy pitcher. And, and a curveball goes out for a foul. He's got a ton of movement on his pitches and an unorthodox delivery. It's not easy for these guys to pick up on that baseball, especially um, in, these, in the, their first time facing him. The one-two pitch. Ooh, that looked outside good. for a ball. That looked like it was good there for a strikeout, but yeah. unable to. It's a 2-2 two -two, two -two coming up with one out. Here's the pitch. Another curveball. And ball. a hit down the left field goes foul. And count still stays the same. 2-2 two -two with one out. He's grounded to second and is only able and to And calls bet. time. 2-2 two -two is the count. The wind winding deals. Here's the pitch. And goes again. A foul still staying alive here. It is Dylan Brady, Bradley, top of the order here in the top of the fourth inning. With one out. Oof, and ton, goes ton of movement inside, that came across outside, the plate. Came across the plate, but a little too much movement on that one. He's got a good knuckleball. He's got a good curveball. Let's see what he does here. Here is the 3-2 pitch. The wine and deals. Outside and walks him. Yeah, that was... That ball has a ton of movement, especially as a righty pitching to a lefty. That ball is sweeping all the way across the plate. But he's trying to bury him inside, but just came too too far inside on the last two pitches there. Great attendance so far here at the uh, stadium. Uh, excuse me, at UMass start today by the student crowd here um, and their families. Here's the pitch. Inside, nice strike pitch. one. Tons of movement on that pitch, Ben. How's your curveball? All right. Should be fine. <laughs> and uh, goes outside. Ball one there. That did look good. That was close. But really how you can throw a curveball, I learned this, is you have to have two fing three fingers, your thumb, your pointer finger, and the middle finger. And that's how you throw a little curve outside. 2-1 uh, coming up. Free, free lessons right at, by Ben Smith. No charge. And if you want to... You try to throw it like a football if you want to do a curveball, like a circle curve and a grounder and goes foul. Evens, up the, evens up the count at two and two. Nathan Levesque. At Fenno ain't looking too shabby right now. No, he's to start. Good. He looks good so far. I mean, like I said, he's got a ton of movement. Definitely keeping the hit. It's definitely a different look for the pitchers. Going to first I mean, and the hitters. still safe at first base. Yeah, Bradley's got some speed over there. On deck is Caden Sear. Trying to keep him close to keep the double play ball open. The 2-2 pitch. And here's a hit. Down the left field line, base hit. And the runner moves to second, and then the runner goes to first. And this is the cadence here who has been two for two so far. And let's look at an instant replay here nice. on this hit. Nice hit. I mean, nothing you can do. It just drops in between. Drops in right in, in the mid, mid outfield over there. It's not a really catchable ball. Good piece of hitting right there. But if you're Fenno, you got now you have two on, one out. Got to get it out of the inning. You want to keep the ball on the ground. J pitch him inside. Try try to get some. And that goes sort inside of for a strike. Again, Fenno not looking too shabby.
Here's the pitch down below. Ball one. A lot of breaking balls. Here's the pitch inside for a strike. That was the fastball inside, brought it inside. He's trying to do, he's trying to get that ground ball right there. So jam him inside, try to get him hopefully to ground out to second base. Maybe you can turn two, get out of this inning. One ball, two strikes, and one out. Here's the one two pitch. Swings ground it down, ball. ground ball, and goes to first. One two away here and moves a runner from third from second to third and first to second. And now here is uh, Austin Travis, who had that hit last inning. Uh, let's look at an instant replay of that hit by Caden Sear. Great nice, nice, nice job by Fenno, jamming him inside, getting the ground ball. It's, I mean, ideally you would have hit it to second base, maybe you had a double play, but you get the out. That's all that matters. Get two outs, now you, now you try to get out of this inning right here. No damage, keep the ball on the ground. Don't leave it out on the outer half of the plate. You want Here's to keep pitch. on pitching outside if you can. I mean inside. Outside and 1 0. Outside again. Oh, strike one. Inside. One and one. There you go. That's the breaking ball. And another one strike. Breaking one, ball. Two. two strikes. All right, Chase, trying to put him away. Oh, and the threat right here, second, two guys in scoring position. And they steps, call time here. Travis steps out of the box. Here's the pitch. Got him. Swing and a miss, and that he's down on strikes. And uh, nice job by Fenno getting out of the getting out of any, through the high the high heater, and got him chasing. No runs that inning, and so far, not looking too bad for Chase Fenno so far. Let's see. Coming up next, we have Aiden, Cru uh, Aiden Smith, Aiden Cruz, the Chase Lackey, the top of the order coming up right next here on Dartmouth Community Media. Do not go anywhere, folks. We are getting ready for the bottom of the second, uh, fourth inning here at the uh, baseball field at UMass start with Ben Smith, Chad Amaral once again. Um, Aiden Smith, top of the order here. He went 0 for 1 last time. Yeah, he lined out. Yep, he lined out on that one. Um, he only saw one pitch in his last at bat. Right now, Dartmouth, Levex. In, uh, facing the order for the second time in the fourth inning, not ideal for Dartmouth. They got to start getting to him now. And goes in there for a strike. Yeah, Levesque, he's been in control. He, 
he rarely falls behind in the count. And he's down he's below for a ball. So it's one and one here. And here's a chopper down left field. Now here's Smith going to first. And he's out. I think that was a close one there. Nice, yeah, nice hustle by Aiden. I, I think he got him. It, it was a slow chopper in the infield. Great job by, th great play by the third baseman. Let's see it here. Yeah, great chopper. If it was like, a chopper, and it died, it slowed down, but yeah, he got him. He got him. Yeah. Eight, eight, nice job by Aiden sliding. The athleticism, um, the uh, eight, consistency. I mean, that if you're a third baseman, you, he, it's not an easy play, and he had to handle it clean to even have a shot at Aiden. He did everything right. There's not much you can do. 1-0 pitch. Aiden Cruz at the at batting right now. He, on uh, on deck is. Oh, he got hit by the pitch there. And he'll go to first. It's the first base runner of the game for Dartmouth. And let's look at an instant replay here. Oh, man. That's going to leave a mark. Yeah, got him high on the shoulder. But as long as it, I mean, sure, it, it, it hurt. But I mean, for Dartmouth, you need, a, you need a base runner. It's not the worst thing that it didn't hit. He'll be all right. He'll, he'll, have, he'll have a little bit of a mark, but he'll be okay. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Lackey looking a little antsy there. He pulled his front foot really early there. All you can do is try to hit it down left field right now if you're Dartmouth. And then get a runner to third and get a runner to second. Here's the hit. Down the left field line once again. Getting under it and... Oof. Two away. He got a good piece of it, but I, too much too much air under it, unfortunately. Cruz still stays at first base. Nice job by Lackey. He hit it just before the warning track over there, but a lot of air under it. Easy to get under, unfortunately. Good piece. Lackey's seen him well. I mean, he's put two balls in the outfield that were hit pretty hard, but he just hasn't. They just can't get anything to drop. You wonder here with Dartmouth struggling to score, maybe get Aiden Cruz running on the base pass, get something going. Here's Chase Fennell. Goes to first on the pinch run. Unable to get him out there. Ooh, ducks under it. And goes to first, and he's safe. That was like a critical situation there, as you can see. If you trying to get that pinch run there. Nice job by the catcher. But a great job by the catcher trying to get. He, he saw him leaning, so I had a chance, a chance to get, get out of the inning. Good aggressive play. And in there. They know Dartmouth. They know Dartmouth's probably going to want to get uh, the jump with Aiden over there in first, so. Catches, paying him a little extra attention. Here's the pitch. Pitch out. And the pinch out. Oh, oh it and it he will not run. See, they, I mean, that was a pitch out right there. They 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 saw him leaning. Unfortunately for Aiden, he dove, Ooh. and he and he slid under the first baseman. So <laughs> it, was, it was really there was really no place for him to go. Unfortunately, even though it was thrown away, but I mean. Like I said, they're what they're giving him some extra attention. That ball was they didn't even try to throw a strike there. That was a pit, clear pitch out. And outside three one. The way Levesque's pitching, I, pro, I like I understand paying some of mine to the base runners, but he's literally not had a single hit against him, and the, his only blemish was a hit by pitch. I don't see and swing and a miss. Real reason to Three, two. focus on the base runner. Probably should worry about the batter with two outs. 3-2 full, full count and with two outs. Chase Fennell uh, on uh, hitting right now and on deck is Donovan Burgo. 3-2. Swing oh, and a miss and speed. he's down on strikes. 
And so far, Darwin has had him. a no hitter today. Bef the pre jinx by me, as usual. But, uh, anyways, so far, 2 0. Uh, upon quit leads at the end of the fourth. We will be starting the fifth inning right after this. Do not go anywhere. And we are back here at the fields at UMass Dartmouth. Ben Smith, Chad Amaral here uh, to start the fifth inning. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss there and a strike one. Peter Rubini hitting. Fennel looked good in his first inning to work. Trying to keep these bats quiet. Here's the pitch again. Nice pitch. And another strike. 0-2. What do you think, Ben? Curveball? No. Oh. Nope. Outside, ball one. What do you think? I think he's going curveball right here. Wine and deals. Here's a one two pitch. Oh. Swing and a miss. And I was right, Ben. <laughs> and that will be a strikeout once again for Chase Fennel, looking pretty well so far. Yeah, he's got great movement on that curveball. It's. I mean, he's got it working right now. No harm in throwing it. Pretty windy one here, 65 degrees where we are sitting. And now here's the pitch. Oh! Hit him. Look, oh, did it just miss him? Just missed him. The pitcher, uh, Lucas Trembley there. Oh, a little bit outside. He's working him inside. 2 0. Well, he's got Trembly uncomfortable here. He's throwing at his head, at his leg. Now you can work that outside. Here's the pitch. Inside for a strike. You know, you know, looking at this, it looks like when you see it coming inside and coming outside, you know, you're looking at the box. And it comes, oh, a little wild pitch there, 3-1. We needed a K-zone, you're saying? Yeah, like the K-zone, so we can know when there's a strikeout. I'll tell you, Ben. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Chopper down the left field, now to first. Uh -oh. And he bobbled it. Bobbled it. That was Taylor, Aiden easy, Smith. an easy 6-3 six, three, six, three play. It's an easy error on Eden there. He, he fielded it perfectly. Just couldn't get the exchange from the glove to the hand. The fielder's choice. Unfortunately for, uh, for Aiden, yeah, he did everything right, but he just couldn't get the ball out of the glove. Fenno, the pitch to Jody. Ooh, got a back our way, hand up. Get a fence, Ben. You'll be all right. <laughs> ben, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. All right. I thought we could have gotten killed. If, if the I'm, I'm guessing the fence would have saved us. If we didn't have any fences here, we would. If we didn't have any fence, I wouldn't be sitting right here. Seriously. <laughs> all right. Here is the O2 pitch. Ben's flustered a little bit. 
A little bit outside, ball one. One and two coming up with one out. One and two, he's trying to work the inside, force the, get him to hit double play, get out of this inning. And here is the one two pitch. Ooh, Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. And Pano's got that breaking ball working. He got he he had him lunging at the ball. He was not comfortable at all. Chase Fenno. Um, and coach is talking to the bench after. Nice job by Fedo over there. He had a, he's got two outs. Trying to get out of this inning. Cam Sylvia doesn't have a hit today. He's 0 for 2. Get out of the inning. Hopefully. And a chopper and goes to second. First, excuse me. Six and three. He's down one, two, three inning. Excuse no. me, not one, two, three inning. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> As it is. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, good, but still three outs in a scoreless inning uh, in, and retires the side for a Poniquit. Right now, two old Poniquit leads, and we will be back for the bottom of the fin fifth inning coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere. Bottom of the fifth inning here, and what a game so far for Aponiquit. Um, right now, 2 nothing score. Here is Donovan Burgo. Wine and deals. Not to get too technical, Ben, but Dartmouth, um, they need some hits. They have none so far, and it's been pretty easy so far for Levesque. I mean, he has five, five Ks, but, I mean, nothing's even been... They haven't even really challenged the Aponiquit defense. Everything, everything's been pretty... Outside. Easy, routine right now. Outside for a ball. Two balls. And what a hit. Oh, that's going to go out. Play for a foul. Time called here. The one-two pitch. Chopper down the left field line, going to first. Safe. And he's safe. Burgo finally puts the hit on the board for Dartmouth. And let's look at an instant replay here. I think uh, it, was a, it, it was a routine ground ball, throws a little off, but it looked like he was there. I mean, I'll give Dartmouth the hit because I don't want it to be a no-hitter necessarily, but like, it was close. I mean, that might have been an error on the shortstop. Throw was a little off. 
I don't know, we don't have an official score, but. And that's in there for a strike. Levesque, so far, looking good so far. Just allowing one hit. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Outside for a ball. Dartmouth bench getting fired up. You know they need something here. Start a little rally. And grounder, and that will be a foul ball, strike two. Jack Joquin 0 for 1 so far. Um, as he um, flown out, excuse me, struck out on his first outing today. Dartmouth beat Aponiquit last time that these two teams played earlier in the season, 6-4, but they did not face Levesque. Jolie started that game, so this is their first look at him, and so far he's he's quiet. He's kept him quiet. And the count stays, still stays the same. 1-2. Jack Joquin. Virgo doesn't have much of a lead Wine at first. deals. Ball two. The 2-2 two -two pitch. And swung and a miss, and he's down on strikes. 0 for 2 for him so far, and one out for Dartmouth. Not looking good for them. Like and... Matt Laverley uh, comes in for Ryan Coppel Coppola here. Yeah, they need a spark. I mean, nope. Here's Laverley, the pitch. Outside, ball one. Trying to bring in the lefty, lefty on righty. Trying to mix things up, get the offense going. And a fly ball down the middle, and two men trying to get it 